Okay, <laughs> this is the one we've all been waiting for. Vikings at Bills tomorrow. Um, there's a lot of mystery surrounding this game, though, because the number one story going to this game is, is Josh Allen even going to play? And we still don't know. I was going to wait <laughs> to do this video until we find out, but it's probably going to be a game-time decision. We don't know. He hurt his elbow at the end of the game last week that, that they lost to the Jets. Um, he didn't practice. I think he practiced a little bit Friday, but most of the week he was not even practicing. Now, he's a guy who could probably play without practicing much, but it's, it's very much up in the air. We just don't know. Uh, and, of course, if Josh Allen does not play, then it's going to be our old friend Case Keenum, which is a whole other level of of intrigue and uh but so like predicting this game is, is really really tough because even just a few weeks ago as the vikings were you know starting this winning streak i still would have said yeah we're probably gonna just get crushed in buffalo i'm not, I'm not sure it's gonna be a blowout even if josh allen plays i'm not sure this is gonna be a blowout um i just don't i just don't think this team i mean we kind of got killed in philly but you know, even that one should have been should have been at least a closer game. I just don't think that they're a team that's going to go get blown out in Buffalo. I would I would I would be very disappointed if they go get blown out uh, tomorrow. We've got our own in injury uh, situations. Tomlinson's out again. Uh, Cam Dantzler's out again or out out this week. He got hurt last week. Um, so we're going to have a Caleb Evans making his first start, but he played pretty good last week when he came in, you know. But that's a whole other ball game when we're playing Buffalo, and I don't care who the quarterback is. It, it, it's similar to the Miami game. It doesn't matter who the quarterback is. They still have a ton of weapons. Like, they're not They're not still I, – I still would put them as Super Bowl favorites. I still wouldn't I, – I, you know, I would still put them as Super Bowl favorites, and they're not that level of team just because of Josh Allen. He may be the number one reason, but he ain't the only reason. Their defense is still great. They still have tons of weapons on offense. They're, they're really good. Like this, even if we're facing Case Game tomorrow, this is a really, really tough game. Um, and it's it, you know, this is the this is the game that the you know the national media. I mean, any you know, certain some Vikings fans are more are more sensitive to this than, than others. The, the kind of the disrespect from the national media, you know, they're just, you know, everywhere you, anytime the Vikings are discussed in any sort of national media form, it's complete disrespect. Like the Vikings are no good at all. They're only seven and one because of their opponents. They've done nothing to earn their record, nothing whatsoever. I mean, these people are just pissed because we're running away with the NFC North ahead of their precious Packers and Aaron Rodgers. They're just they're just crybabies about it. Like you know how many times how many times like has that Green Bay run away with a divi a weak division with a weak schedule? Or Tom Brady run away with a weak division, weak schedule, and they just get they just get their ass kissed every week. It's like sorry, sorry we're sorry the Vikings are, are good this year and they're kind of upsetting your little narrative. Your your little Aaron Rodgers is Jesus narrative. So I guess I am pretty sensitive to it. Um, you know, and this has been the game, you know, that we've been looking at for weeks. Like, okay, now we're really going to see. Now this doesn't mean the Vikings go lose in Buffalo that they're that this proves they're frauds. Almost you know, no one's going to win in Buffalo. I'm sorry. If Buffalo gets home field advantage, they are going to the Super Bowl. I've been saying that since August. They will not lose in Buffalo. Um, and, no team's going to do this. So if the Vikings don't do it, the Vikings don't win tomorrow and keep this winning streak going, yeah, I'll be disappointed. I mean, I'd, I'd love it if they went 16-1 and and then swept through the playoffs and, did, and won the Super Bowl. That'd be great. That's not going to happen. Like, it's just not. Um, but, yeah, if they, I mean, if they, you know, if they play a really competitive game tomorrow and lose, I'll be disappointed that they lost, but... I think it's going to reflect very well on them. Um, and ult I mean, this isn't a conference game. They obviously have a big cushion in the, league. in the division. Dallas is playing Green Bay tomorrow. The way Green Bay is going, they're probably going to lose again. 
So we're still gonna keep we're gonna still keep the lead in the division the same. Um, but yeah, I mean, I I don't expect a blowout, regardless of who the quarterback is, um, and possibly if it's if it's Allen, it's not gonna be like a hundred percent Josh Allen anyway. But yeah, I don't I don't I don't expect a blowout tomorrow. I I really do expect the Vikings, you know, just because we play close games against you know a 500 Washington team or close games against, you know, losing teams like Detroit, that doesn't mean that we're going to then, you know, go and, and get blown out by the best team on our schedule. You know, this, this is just not a team that, that, that blows, that blows guys out. Maybe this will be the, and maybe this will be the game where we can really start to excel on offense. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Bill Buffalo's defense is really good. Um, I believe I saw they're the number one scoring defense. That might 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 not be true, but I but either way they're very good. Like they're not like I said, like I said, they're not where they are just because of Josh Allen. So they are very good. Like as a whole team. This this is I don't so if we're facing Case Keenum, that doesn't mean oh, okay, we now we've got this one. It's all over. We're gonna win again. No. <laughs> like this the you know, I would you know, there are people who are like, oh, I would, I want to face Josh Allen because I want, I, I don't want to beat the, you know, a wounded Bills team. Like, I'll take the win. If like, if we, if, if facing Case Keenum helps us to get a win, I'll take it. I'd rather have the win than the, than the national respect. You're not going to get the national respect anyway, because guess what? If you, if you do win, whether it's, let's say you, you beat, uh, you beat Josh Allen, they're just going to say, well, Josh Allen was kind of hurt, so it doesn't really count. They're never going to give the Vikings any respect in the national media, um, and that's fine. I don't care. Talk don't talk about Philadelphia. Talk about Dallas. Talk about your precious Rodgers and Brady. Talk about those teams. I don't care. <laughs> like I'm fine if the Vikings fly under the radar all the way into January. That's that's fine by me. But you know they're not going to get any credit if they win, and if they lose, then it's you know even if they lose, you know 34-31 in a really good tight game and play really well, it's going to be, well, see, the Vikings are frauds. They only up their record because of who they played. So it's it, we're kind of in that, we're, you know, and obviously if we lose, if it's Case Keenum and we lose, then it's, oh, my God, we're such frauds. Look at this. Can you believe it? And if we win that game, it's, oh, we only won because of, it's a backup quarterback. So we're, th- there's no there's no scenario, those four scenarios, there's no scenario where we're going to come out of this game getting any respect, and that's fine. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe some of the players care about it, maybe they don't. Some fans care about it more than others. Um, you know, of course, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, Bradbury is Bradbury's healthy, I believe. I believe I saw he's going to start, so he got hurt last week. There was some mystery about whether you know, he was going to play. Um, and, of course, this is the first, this will be like the first week where Hawkinson's been fully immersed the whole week and things so and he already had made a big contribution last week so I'm, I'm hoping he can make a big big splash again you know at some point I still think this offense is going to put up a monster game kind of hard to see that happening really in the next really the next few weeks because we got Buffalo then we got Dallas and then we got New England like it's hard to imagine putting up monster games on any of those defenses but um I'm kind of expecting a close game again, <laughs> even though it's even though this is a big step up in competition. I'm still expecting a close game. I think this is going to be a four quarter game, and maybe, you know, you know, if we're if we, you know, I mean, facing that defense that Buffalo has, we got it. We have to keep control of the ball. Can't turn it over. You know, even like the acceptable risk plays, like the the Kirk pick last week, you really can't do that. You gotta they got they gotta they gotta take advantage of every drive every. You know, every chance you got to get Buffalo off the field, you got to do it. You know, it doesn't mean they have to play a perfect football game, but they got to play pretty close to a perfect football game. Um, um, I don't know what the weather conditions are. I think I saw it was going to be pretty cold. It's gotten all cold here now, so I'm sure it's getting cold everywhere. But uh, yeah, I think I think I think the losing or the winning streak is going to end this week. I just do. I mean, this is the natural spot for it to end. We're not gonna. We're not gonna win. You know, 15 games in the row to end the season and then sweep through the playoffs. That's just not gonna happen. Um. So yeah, I think I think this is gonna be. I think we are gonna play 
you know, a competitive, maybe even a more more than competitive game. I think this will be another game that that's decided very late, um, and maybe we'll have a shot, you know. Um, but I, th- I think we are going to play competitive. I don't think I, this is not going to be Philadelphia. I would be really, really shocked if we went into this game and got you know, like like in Philadelphia where we got down two scores right away. I would be I would be pretty shocked if that happened. I think I think this team, you know, I think this team has that motivation to kind of prove themselves. Um, you know, that like they they they're fine winning close games. Like they understand that style points mean nothing. But they I think they also have have a desire to kind of to kind of uh, you know prove themselves, you know, on a on a more national stage like this. Um, and I think they're going to come out and play very well. I just think maybe Buffalo is going to be just better than them. And I mean, I think they are better than them and they're at home and, you know, it's hard to make an official prediction because I don't know who the quarterback is. I think if Josh Allen plays, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the difference is in score. Like, I think, I think we play Case Keenum, you know, Keenum's still okay. Like, he hasn't really played that much since, since he left here, I mean, he, he he started for a while in Denver, and then he's he's bounced around a little bit and hasn't played that much. He started, you know, a handful of games, but he hasn't been like a regular regular uh, player for anybody yet, you know, or for for a couple of years. But I'm sure he's still got some of that ability. I mean, we saw what Case Keenum could do as as a as a fill in, um, and I would expect Case Keenum to to play well if if he's the guy. Um. And let's face it, we've let pretty much every quarterback look at least okay against us. We can, we we didn't really let Heineke look very good. I mean, obviously his one touchdown last week was a complete fraud of a of a play, um, and he barely had like a hundred yards if you take that away. So we we didn't let him do much. But you know, and this defense has improved. This Vikings defense has improved since the bye. That they, they, they uh, you can you can tell watching it, um, and even going back to like the Miami game, they were a little better. You know they're they're not they're not a complete sieve like they were early in the season. That's another reason I just don't think it's gonna. I don't think they're gonna have a Philadelphia type of game where they just get blown off the field in the first quarter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I I I think the Vikings are probably going to lose regardless of who the quarterback is on the other side. Um, I can't make a score prediction, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be like within ten, even if it's Josh Allen, and I think it's probably a one score game if it's Keenum. So. I certainly give the Vikings a shot. They'll they'll have a shot in this game. Um, maybe they'll maybe they'll need you know Josh Allen threw a couple weird picks last week against the Jets. Maybe we, maybe we can get a couple of those. We've been very opportunistic in getting turnovers, especially in fourth quarters. You know, if it's close going into the fourth quarter, like we're a little more battle tested than Buffalo. Buffalo's you know Buffalo's had a lot of a lot of blowout wins. They've 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 struggled in in some fourth quarters. Um. You know, so we got a shot. We absolutely have a shot. I'd love it if we won. I'll be disappointed if we lose a competitive game, but you know, I think I think Dallas is going to beat Green Bay, so I think we're going to keep that edge in the division anyway. Um, and this wouldn't this this loss if they if it's a loss wouldn't hurt us that much for like tiebreakers and shit for for seeding and everything else. But uh, yeah, I think this is probably the week that the win streak comes to an end, but I don't think the Vikings will get killed. And I would not have said that a few weeks ago, but I'm, I've been made a full on believer in this team, just in the, just in kind of their guts and their, and their, they've got, they've got some, some magic dust uh, (laughs) on them this year a little bit. And doesn't mean you're going to go undefeated the rest of the season. It's just not. It's just not real. That's just not realistic. Um, so hopefully, if we lose, that you know the fan base doesn't start jumping off a fucking bridge. They probably will because they're, they've been waiting to do it for weeks. They've wanted. There's there are people in this fan base who want to lose just so they can confirm. Oh, we're not good at all. I don't understand those people. But uh, so I've I've reached rambling portion <laughs> portion of the video. So yeah, I will say Vikings will lose, but. Regardless of who the Bills quarterback is, it will be competitive. And, you know, if we win, I think we definitely have more to gain from a win than lose from a loss. That's my opinion.